Hello and welcome everybody. The Captain Marvel movie is set during 90s and the plot revolves around the Kree Skrull war. Today we are going to discuss who are these shape shifting skrulls anyways? What is their story and what the hell they want? Let's start with their powers and abilities. A skrull has shape shifting ability that allows him to take form of any living creature or any inorganic object. A skrull can mimic other person's voice and sound. So a skrull Tony Stark will look and sound just like him. A skrulls are able to alter their forms which allows them to fly with a pair of wings and they can turn elastic just like Mr. Fantastic Reed Richards. A skrulls can also alter their parts of body for offense like guns, knives, clubs, you name it and they can do it. But that said, although a skrull can become anything or anybody that they want, be it Hulk or Thanos, but they can't replicate their powers. So a Skrull Hulk will not have Hulk's incredible healing abilities or his immense strength. It is only the physical form that the Skrulls can change according to their will. In theory, a Skrull can become an infinity stone, but it will not possess the properties of one. So imagine a Skrull Thanos with a Skrull Infinity Gauntlet taking on real Thanos. Now that is the fight that I want to see. Where did the Skrulls come from and what is their backstory? Well, the Skrulls get their names from their home planet Skrullos, which is situated in a galaxy not so far away, the Andromeda Galaxy, the nearest neighbor to our Milky Way and some 2.5 million light years away. The Skrulls appeared billions of light years ago and were mostly barbaric until Celestials decided to stop by and run their experiments on these creatures. These Celestials are the nigh omnipotent beings who are to an extent responsible for the creation of Marvel's multiverse itself. They experimented on living forms of all known planets including Earth. They were the ones responsible for the X gene that led to the rise of mutants and X-Men. Even Bruce Banner's transformation into Hulk after being exposed to gamma rays rather than dying was because of a latent gene that was planted by the Celestials millions of years ago. In the MCU, we last saw a Celestial in Guardians of Galaxy Vol. 1. Well, talking about Celestial's experiment, their experiment on Skrulls created three races. The Normals, who were the baseline species with latent potential for future mutation. The Eternals were the peace-loving race with super strength and marvelous longevity. It was the deviant race of Skrulls that possessed the safe shifting abilities and waged war on the other two, in which they turned out to be victorious, exterminating the other two species. So today when someone talks about the Skrulls, they are generally referring to the deviant race of Skrulls, as today they are the only ones left. Even in the upcoming Captain Marvel movie, we see these safe shifting deviant Skrulls. Once the Deviants won the Civil War, they set out to conquer other parts of their galaxy. They built the technology needed to conquer other worlds and ships that allowed intergalactic travel. In short, they became the evil empire that we see in Star Wars, but without the advantage of force being on their side. The golden period of Skrulls lasted for a few millennia. They achieved unprecedented breakthroughs in science even by modern standards. Their technology evolved exponentially, allowing them to create the first cosmic cube endowed with reality transforming powers. The Skrull Emperor used the cosmic cube to rule over his vast empire like a god. However, at one point billions of years ago, the cube gained self-awareness and for some reason lashed out killing more than half of the Skrull population and flew away into the cosmos. This was a major setback but nothing that the Skrulls couldn't recover from at one point when Galactus destroyed their home planet. However, few million years later, the Skrulls dynasty returned to its former glory. But this time around, they had turned into peace-loving creatures who preferred trade relations with other worlds rather than subjugating them with war. The Skrulls continued to explore other worlds and it is during this period of exploration that they come across the planet of Hala, home to Kree and Kotati. They ran an experiment to determine which race will represent Hala. Few Kree and Kotatis were taken to a barren planet and given enough resources to last few years. The Skrulls wanted to see what they come up with. When they returned to see what the two races have been up to, they found that Kree had built a technological marvel whereas Kotatis had built a beautiful garden. The Skrull delegation judged the Kotatis to be the winners as they found them to be peace-loving creatures just like themselves. 
the judgment enraged the Kree, who not only murdered the Skrull delegation but went back to their home planet Hala and killed all the Kotartes. They didn't stop there either. They reverse engineered Skrull's technology and started building their army, weapons and spaceships capable of intergalactic fights. Thus started the famous Kree-Skrull War. The conflict has lasted for many generations and we see the Kree-Skrull War continue in upcoming Captain Marvel movie where Captain Marvel is initially fighting for the Kree as a member of the Star Force. Who do you think is to be blamed for this never-ending conflict? Did karma catch up to the Skrulls or are Kree the devils in this story? Let us know your thoughts in the comments and thanks for watching and please subscribe to our channel for our upcoming content.